My name is Keith Wilkinson, I'm uh, 52 years of age. Um, I was born in Portadown, reared in Portadown. I'm one of um, seven children, the eldest of seven children. Um, I, I now live in Bridge Hill since I got married in 1984, so I'm there 30 years and I have five, blessed with five uh, kids as well. 316 football is, is, is an amazing thing for me. For someone who's been on football for a long time, um, you know, going back, going back in the days when I was a Christian playing football, there wasn't much fellowship and there wasn't many things that you could do as a Christian or even to reach people. Today, 316 is um, something I'm involved now with a, a Christian football group, a players group we, we call it. It's a lot of um, ex-footballers and present footballers and we really have a, do have a passion for Jesus and the 316 complements what we try to do. Um, we'll meet the, every, every couple of weeks and um, uh, we, we, we talk about God, we, we, study, we study God's Word and we pray for football clubs, especially in this area. You know, whether it be Diana or Hanover or Lord Vale or Armagh City or Portadown, all of these teams, you know, we're praying for the people in the clubs and it's great to come out to 316 and see those people that we are praying for who don't go to church or hearing the Word of God here at, at, at 316. first time I, I heard about um, salvation was when I was probably 15 years of age. I was through um, Drum Cree Youth Fellowship. Uh, used to used to go to it. Used to be a guy, uh, Sammy Linton, used to come into town on the bus and bring a lot of boys like me out of from Cork Crean out to Dumcree, and uh, it told us about, about Jesus dying for our sins, and uh, it was it was great. It was enjoyable, but it was serious as well. And I started to be uh, uh, come under conviction and uh, of my sin that I was a sinner, and it was it was getting to the stage where I was uh, I was really troubled by it. But uh, at that time, at that time, I was asked to go to Portadown Football Club as a 15-year-old, and um, uh, um, you know, unfortunately, or fortunately, at that stage for me, it was on the same night as the youth fellowship, so I, I got away from the question. But thankfully, thankfully, God didn't leave it there and, and kept on speaking to me. And it was some maybe five, six years later I got I was saved in 1984. I was saved. Uh, I've been in football for 35 years, you know, with four different clubs: Portadown, Armagh City. Um, Laurel Vale and, and Diana, and I've enjoyed every minute. But uh, n now I'm retired and happy to be retired, and just uh, so much involved with the, with, the, with the football group. My passion now is, is, is reaching footballers for Christ. Jesus means everything, to, everything to me. You know, you know, as I say, I've been a Christian for 30 years, and um, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times, you go through the motions and you're quiet about it and stuff. Now. And, and other things was your passion, you know. And sometimes God humbles you and brings situations in your life that brings you back to Him. And, and at this moment in time, I'm just just so happy to be uh, in, involved, not on, on the football pitch, but off off the football pitch, quietly in the background. And that's that's where I'm happiest. And uh, Jesus means everything to me. And through, through some troubled times, uh, two verses always came to mind: Proverbs three, five, and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him; he shall direct thy paths. And many times that there that there has been my salvation, and and, and you know each time I turn back to that and, and live by that if I can.